Hey Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Those of you cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see who's coming into your life. Um, who will your next major love be? Uh, you know, who's coming towards you here? So we'll see if we can get a little bit more about this person and details around how the two of you might meet and what the future of this connection might be like. It is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep, uh, keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video where the show more section is. Otherwise, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle, and let's see who is it that's coming into your life next, who's coming towards you. This person has more of a slower burning energy around them, okay, more of a slower moving energy. So this connection itself can be a little bit more of a slow burn, okay, or maybe this is someone who isn't necessarily, I get, you know, I get the impression that this is someone who thinks first, acts later. Um, I'm also seeing that this is someone who I think is around, I feel like this person is already around you, okay, so this is an existing presence in your life. However, they have not approached you yet. It feels like they've been admiring you from a distance. Could be someone you work with, could be someone you know, could be from a circle. It could be from your circle of friends, okay? It could be someone that you are, you know, uh, friends with. But it just feels like this person is, they're already in your life, but they haven't necessarily approached you romantically. They haven't necessarily, um, like, made a move or an advancement towards you. Now, Six of Pentacles energy, I think this is someone, I'm seeing that this person is very balanced. I just feel like they have an energy that is very giving, very generous here, they're very charitable. I'm also seeing that this person is someone who, you know, I feel like a lot of areas of their life are very balanced. This is someone who's also very quick to offer their time, their energy, their love and support to people. This person is also coming off as someone very wise and someone who I feel like is quite spiritual. Okay, I'm getting that this person is very intuitive and very spiritual or in touch with their emotions and their intuition here. And this is someone who I feel like is really... There's a lot of trust around this person. So I feel like the two of you will build a very trusting connection or they will create this safe space um, and this safe energy where it feels like you you know you guys will just trust each other. It's a connection that feels like it's going to be built on trust and on good faith that everything is going to work out. It also feels like in just a short amount of time you guys are going to exchange a lot of energy, a lot of emotions here. Very self-sufficient. I feel like this person is very self-sufficient. They're not coming across as a submissive kind of energy. I feel like this person is very in control and very in charge of their emotions. I'm also seeing that this is someone who is... Um, I'm seeing behavioral patterns around this person. But it feels like these, behave these are um, positive behavioral patterns. This person is coming across as quite sensitive, um, a very imaginative, a very creative person. They may be pursuing a career in uh, creative fields like art, film and entertainment industry, fashion, um, poetry, music, um, I think I said film. And I think that something about them will pleasantly surprise you. Like initially you may have the wrong impression of this person or, you know, the fact that this person will come up and will open themselves up and reveal to you that they've had feelings for you all along. Maybe that in itself is going to surprise you here. But I feel like I'm seeing that there's some sort of surprises. Um, maybe just how everything unfolds between the two of you 
is going to surprise you, okay? Because maybe the circumstances, if you know who this is, maybe this person right now is currently taken, okay? They're, they're with someone else and they're not available. And maybe you're thinking to yourself, well, you don't see how this is going to work out because they're in a relationship or you're in a relationship. But leave it to the universe to fill in the blanks because I'm seeing that you're going to be pleasantly surprised by the way that everything turns uh, out. I'm also seeing that I'm getting strong water energy with this person, also strong earth energy, but I feel like this person is really in touch with their feelings and their emotions. And I'm also seeing that they can be maybe prone to moodiness. Sometimes, you know, their feelings do come out of the blue here. There's a lot of creative energy around this person. There's a lot of creative energy. Um, this person is a big movie buff. buff. Uh, they love their music as well. I'm getting they're really into their music. And again, it, that could be the creative fields that they're exploring or they're studying here. I'm also seeing that there's some sort of creative energy that flows through them. So they could be pursuing that creative talent, nurturing that talent through like studies. They could be studying, uh, I don't know, like a diploma or a degree in creative, in, in the creative arts field like a, or a bachelor here. They're quite open. I'm also seeing that this is going to be the magic of this connection that the two of you share will reach its fullest potential. Something about something about this person, there's a connection between this person and your childhood, your inner child or your favorite childhood Disney film. I think maybe the two of you share the same, you know, the same favorite animated Disney film or something about this person and your childhood. There's some sort of connection there. It could also be that this is going to be um, quite, you know, the connection and the way this unfolds is quite novelesque, quite fairy tale like. They love reading books. I'm also seeing that this person might have, they wear their heart on their sleeves and they may have quite a creative, um, uh, not a creative, they do have a creative, but I'm also seeing psychic abilities with this person. Okay, so there's a lot of, the, you, the two of you have a lot of emotional, a very strong, emotional connection and this person I feel like they're, they're trusting their intuition when and that when they'll finally be making a move they're going to trust their intuition okay um, they also I'm seeing that they're quite mysterious very mysterious uh, a very strong air an aura of mystery surrounds them but you know what that's part of their charm that's part of their appeal they're not very tall I don't get them being very tall I get them being a little bit on the shorter side. A very nice, very nice eye. So just, I'm, I'm seeing a nice lingering stare. A lot of emotion, so much so that it's very overwhelming. But I feel like this person, um, I keep hearing that this person is going to trust their intuition and they're going to just allow things to go with the flow. They may have been really hurt and betrayed in the past. And I think now this, this person is very careful as to who they trust and who they don't. But I do feel like they've healed from that. Or they are healing from that pain and that betrayal here. There is this with the Seven of Cups. It can be a bit of a non-committal type of energy. But it, it can be that maybe this person has commitment issues. Uh, but it could also be that this person might have options or choices around them okay because this can also be opportunities choices i see that this is someone who fantasizes about you so this is why i get a sense that this person is already in your life and they could be admiring you from a distance here but i think this person wants to connect with you on a deeper level because they feel something is there they feel a connection with you even if it's you know not yet explored they feel very drawn to you and they feel like the two of you are very involved with each other energetically and emotionally and this person wants to get to know you better so seven of cups is a sign of them doing some wishful thinking and some wishful fantasizing about you and it's kind of like they're projecting their fantasies onto the future about what they would like to manifest and they would like to happen between the two of you they're very physically fit uh, they're in good shape this is someone who really takes care of themselves they play sports soccer is coming up very strong even baseball or basketball um and they have been playing that, I feel like, since early adulthood or childhood days. Uh, I see them, yeah, very, very athletic. There's a strong sense of athleticism about them. They work out. They hit the gym. Um, this is someone who I feel like has 
they're predictable in a way but that's because I feel like much like the Knight of Pentacles energy this this is someone who sticks to the tried and tested okay they, they stick to what works they've been doing it for years it's been working this isn't someone who welcomes change easily so not a very fluid kind of energy okay someone a little bit resistant to change so it's not you know if if it ain't if it's not broken, don't fix it, that kind of energy, okay? If something works, it works. They don't try to venture out and try something different. So, that's that. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please share your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading, please feel free to inquire. Bye for now.